Welcome to the Tokiid Academy. My name is John and I'll be your instructor for today. In this lesson, we will be covering some of the basic features and functions of our channel manager. Other features and functions not relating to the channel manager will be covered in a separate lesson. In this lesson, we'll be looking at the following topics. We'll be discussing the calendars, creating a simple rate, connecting to Airbnb, connecting to a single iCal channel, disconnecting channels, and navigating the inquiries page. The calendar is the first thing you'll see when you log into your account. Once you connect to all your channels, you will see your bookings right here. First is the multi-calendar. The multi-calendar allows you to see all your rentals on the same screen and add events and bookings by simply clicking on the calendar. Your standard calendar lets you see a monthly view of all your bookings. The planning calendar lets you see the entire year at a glance. The Agenda Calendar lets you see what's happening this week, this month, or even today. Your Hold Events list shows all your hold events for all of your rentals. Now I'll show you how to create a simple rate in Tokeet. Tokeet allows users to set up group rates, which means that you can create a rate and apply it to all the rentals in a single go. First, click the Rates tab, click Edit, choose Group Rates, Click Add Group Rates and Add Standard Group Rate. Select your rentals. Select a name. Choose your start and end dates and your nightly rate. When you're done, click Create. And there you have it. Your group rate has been saved successfully. You can also create rates for an individual rental just by selecting the dates on the calendar. Tokeet offers two types of connections to channels. The first type of connection is API, which updates availability, rates, and messages. Next is iCal. iCal, which stands for iCalendar, only blocks the calendar. Messaging and rates will be done on those channels. Next, I'll go ahead and show you how to connect to Airbnb API. First, you want to make sure you're logged into your Airbnb in a separate tab. Then, back to Toki, click on Channels, then Add Channel. Choose your channel, and then click Select. You'll be taken to the Airbnb Connection Wizard. The connection wizard contains very useful information regarding the connection process, but also tells you what to expect when connecting to Airbnb. Please pay close attention with each step of the wizard. Click Continue. The first step is Preparation, which again tells you what to expect when creating your connection between Airbnb and Tokeet. After connecting to Tokeet, Airbnb will remove all calendar links previously set on Airbnb. These links will have to be set up in Tokeet. These include links between Airbnb listings as well as links from other channels that were added to your Airbnb listing. Smart Pricing and Rule Sets Airbnb will turn off Smart Pricing and any previous rule set in Airbnb will be ignored. All rates must be set in Tokeet after connecting to Airbnb. In regards to outside pricing tools, pricing tools connected to Airbnb, such as Price Labs, will be unaffected you may continue pushing rates from these systems to Airbnb. Passing the Airbnb review step, your listing must meet all listing criteria stipulated by Airbnb, such as seven photos including three high quality ones, listing title less than 50 characters, and listing description between 50 and 500 characters. Importing and creating Tokeet rentals, Importing rentals from Airbnb pulls a replica into Tokeet. This process is much quicker and easier than manually creating your own rental in Tokeet. Keep in mind that Airbnb does not support co-hosting on their official API. Please click the link to the page to connect to your co-hosted rental. Request Channel Manager Access. The following pages will present the steps for requesting a connection between Tokeet and Airbnb. Connecting to Airbnb does not require you to save any passwords on Tokeet. The only requirement is that you're currently logged into your Airbnb account when initiating the connection. 
As we have previously opened our Airbnb account in a separate window, now just click Add Account. Connection successful. When that's done, click Continue. Now go ahead and click Finished. Next, you'll be taken to the Channel Details page. However, if you already have a corresponding rental in Tokeet, you do not need to import your property. Simply link the Airbnb listing to that existing Tokeet rental. You can see here that your rental has been linked successfully. You then come back to your connection page and click into your rental. Then click Actions and complete the three steps. You want to import bookings, push availability, and push rates. And that's it. Your Airbnb API connection is complete. Next, we'll connect an iCal channel. You can either do it here from the far right, or choose one of your channels here on the far left. For this instance, we'll choose HomeAway. You'll be taken to your Export and Import Calendars page. Under Export, click Add. Choose your rental. and click Export. You'll then be given a URL which you'll copy and paste into your HomeAway calendar. Click Done. You can see that the first part of your step is complete. Now, let's go to our HomeAway calendar. Find your Import Export calendar, click there, click Import Calendar. We'll say From Toki, paste your URL, Scroll down and click Import Calendar. Now you have already imported your calendar from Toki. Next, you export from HomeAway. Click Export Calendar. You want to copy this URL, which you'll then paste into your Toki Import Calendar. Come back to Toki. Under Import Calendar, click Add. Choose a name. We'll say from home away. Choose your rental. And finally, paste the URL from home away. And click import. And there you have it. Your export and import connections from home away are complete. Next, we'll go ahead and show you how to disconnect an API channel. Go to the far right under edit and click on the three small dots. Click channel detail. At the top right, Click Disconnect. And finally, let's take a look at our inquiries. Click Inquiries on the far left. You have your Inbox View, List View, and Messages. Your Inbox View is your default. It will show all your list of inquiries here on the left. In the center, will show all your messages to the guest. And to the right, all your booking details and booking charges. The booking details and charges can be edited by clicking this icon here. Your inquiries list shows inquiries in a list view. Should you wish to delete inquiries, you can click on individual inquiries, then go to the far right and click delete. Should you wish to delete multiple inquiries, click at the top here just like an email, then actions and click delete. And finally, your messages. Here we'll show all your message feeds with messages to and from your guests. That concludes our demo for today and thank you again for choosing Toki.